So if you watch this channel, you know that I love creating creative and abstract work and also I wear a lot of black and gray shirts. But in this video, I want to share with you three creative effects for titles that you can apply really quick. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is doing excellent today. So these are the three techniques we're going to create in this video. You can jump around with the time codes below if you want to learn a specific technique. But without wasting more time, we're going to jump in and we're going to get started. All right, our first title effect is going to be this one. It's just simply an echo effect. It's fun to do. Uh, and we'll go ahead and get started. So we have our title in here. All I did with my title was make it black and did a white stroke. You can create a white stroke just by clicking on stroke color and increasing the stroke width. So that's how you do that. So what we're going to do with this is very simple. We're just going to create a quick animation with this so we can hit P on keyboard for position. Make sure you turn this into a 3D layer. It makes it a lot better. And you can toggle switch the modes to make that a 3D layer. So we'll add a keyframe for position. And maybe what we'll do is kind of move this title back a little bit. So it'll kind of grow larger as it comes or animates in and then we'll move forward by a second. So what we'll do is we'll like grab our title and we can just move this over to the corner here. And as this animates to the corner, we can animate this upward as if it's scaling by a little bit. And then we can move forward by like another second and have this come over to this side, maybe by one more second and then just have it animate up and you can have it go down a little bit smaller as well. So you just get this little funky animation here. And what I would do is I would grab all these keyframes, right click them, go to rove across time, and this will give you the ability to increase the length of everything. And that's totally fine. Now let's go ahead and apply the effect here. So let's go to effect time and let's grab echo. And what we're gonna do is come here to the echo operator and we're gonna set this to composite in front. And we're gonna increase the number of echoes all the way up here, maybe like 30 or so. So now we'll have our title animation doing whatever we want it to do. So you can create your own path uh, and you know you have this really cool echo animation for your title. All right, second technique, I wanna be able to create this individual letter stretch here that animates all the letters and it's just super clean. So very easy to do this. So what you do is type out the title that you want to have and when you have the title ready to go, you right click your layer, go to create and click on create shapes from text. All right, so now you're going to have a shape layer. So what we'll do is hit U twice on a keyboard and I'll bring up all the paths for the letters and we can just add a keyframe for each of these just so we know what we're doing. And then we can just hit U and then you'll have all the paths right there and it all makes sense. So what we want to do is have our keyframes here maybe at one second so the letter will just be up, or the word will just be up here. And then maybe at like, you know, two seconds, we'll grab say the letter E here, which is, you know, this path. And all we'll do is shift click these points and all we're going to do is grab all the outer points here and we're just going to drag these forward like so. So then what you have to do is just grab all the other paths here, shift click them and you can just move them over. So nice. So if we run through this, it's going to be very smooth like that. And as you see, this is going to be kind of easy to create. So what we can do is kind of have this up for a little bit. We'll add a keyframe for all these. And then we can just copy these original keyframes and just paste them in there. So what's going to happen is that this entire animation is going to you know, expand outwards and come back in and you can do whatever, whatever else you want to do. So perhaps we can, you know, we can take this H here and we can expand up all the points here to the top, expand it upwards and come here to the bottom. You see what I'm saying here? So you have the ability to do what you want. So what I suggest here, make sure you grab all your keyframes and make it easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard and you come here to your graph editor and we can go through each path here and kind of just smooth these out by a little bit and this will make the animation a little bit more flicky and it looks great. So you just go through each path and kind of smooth those out. So if you go ahead and smooth all that out, you're going to get this much more unique and smooth animation. And of course, I, you know, I challenge you to go ahead and do something you're you know, unique on your own like I did there. So you have the ability to do what you want and stretch out each individual letter and animate the other letters with that. So before we move on to our next technique, I got to give a huge shout out to our 1400 plus motion graphics professionals pack right here for After Effects. So this is our motion graphics professional pack, which has over 1400 elements in it for After Effects. And we have so many elements in this, but I just want to show you how this works. So this is our titles category. And what we can do is preview any of our templates before we want to apply it. And when we find the right template, we just click on apply. So now we have a full title animation here that we can go into this template and easily change out our titles. And our titles and graphics are completely auto resizing. And we have control layers that allow us to easily change colors to whatever color as we see fit. And we have a handful of other amazing elements in here that we can bring into this. So for example, we have high tech elements that I love using. And we can use this as like an animated background. So we'll find the background we want, click on apply. Now we have a really cool background in here and we can take this even further. 
with some quick accent motion graphics to help spruce up our work. All right, with a few clicks of a button, we can put together a full composition with our motion graphics professionals pack. And we have hundreds of other elements that we didn't even go through like animated promos, transitions, and creative effects that all can be applied into any After Effects project. So if you're looking for a huge asset library that will help you save a tremendous amount of time while producing awesome work on all of your projects, you can take a look at it. the links below. If you pick up any of the packs off our website, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. All right, so for our last technique, it's about creating an overall stretch to the title. It's just really cool to work with this. You can use it as like an in transition for your title or just a stylistic effect. So when you have your title typed out, what you want to do is select the title, go to layer pre-compose and you can call it title placeholder and click OK. And what we'll do is go to effect transition. We're going to grab CC scale wipes this is becoming a more of a popular effect to use. So with our effects selected, you'll see we'll have an anchor point here in the middle. We'll just bring this up to the top of the word and what we'll do is come here to direction, set this to zero degrees, and we can increase the stretch. And we might have to bring down the point here. So you'll see what's gonna happen is we'll get the word you know, stretched out, and that's totally cool. So what I'll do is maybe I'll bring this point down below here to the center, and I'll add a keyframe for center, and I'll move forward in my timeline to maybe like a second, and I'll just have this move up. So it has a nice little stretch to it. And then what we could do is take the scale wipe effect and duplicate it, and we can set the direction to 180 degrees this time around. And we'll hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes. We'll delete the keyframes that we've already created for the second duplicate here. And we'll come here and just kind of bring our point here to the bottom as well. This one, you know, right there is good. And we will, and you know, and what we'll do is we'll take our point and, you know, we'll bring it underneath the title here and we can add a keyframe for it right at that point. Come here to the beginning and just kind of have this one stretch up like this. So what's going to happen is boom, that'll kind of stretch in like that. No big deal. And if you want, we can, of course, add, like, add another scale wipe effect, maybe unkeyframe the center by clicking the stopwatch. Have this right here. You know, set the stretch down to zero, add a keyframe for stretch, move forward in time maybe by a second and stretch this out. Then hit U on your keyboard, bring up the keyframes, all click the stopwatch for stretch here and type in loop out. Capital O, open parenthesis, quotations, ping pong, followed by quotations and close parenthesis and you know, make those easy, easy keyframes with an F9 on your keyboard. So now what's going to happen is we're going to have this animation along with our title that will go on forever. So it's a cool, unique effect that you can experiment with and create something unique with. So that is our tutorial on these three trendy, abstract, creative title effects right here for After Effects. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.